welcome back to our virtual Beyond the Alphabet. My name is Kayla. I'm Heather. And today we're going to be making some spooky stress balls. So all of you should have a green balloon, a piece of paper, a gluey dot, a sharpie, an empty water bottle, and most importantly, a baggie full of Orbeez. Woo! I love these, they're so fun. <laughs> so what we're gonna start off doing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these Orbeez in the water bottle, and then from there, we're gonna be able to transfer them into the balloon. So we'll show you step by step. And then lastly, we are going to draw a face on our balloon to make it a Frankenstein, or a creeper. Heather made an example of a creeper face you can make on it, or you could Shrek. also make it Shrek since it's green, or you can make it like a green jack-o'-lantern pumpkin face, or any number of spooky kind of faces you want. A little ghost face Ooh. would be easy, just three circles, two eyes, big mouth for the <laughs> ghost. So there's lots of stuff you can do. We thought green would be a perfect kind of monster color for Halloween month or for anything else. If you don't celebrate Halloween, you don't even have to draw a face on it if you don't want to. Yeah, it's true. Be a green stress ball. Totally up to you. This all on its own feels so good. I know, right? It's I like a stress pouch. Okay. <laughs> Woo. So first, we're going to transform our paper into a funnel to get these Orbeez into this water bottle without making too much of a mess. It's like making a weird ice cream cone, you know? Yeah. So, so I'm going to start by opening this so I can kind of see. We want to, like, we're going to roll it this way. And roll it kind of diagonally. Yep. So, I should with open mine. Oh, it fell apart. That's what the glue dot's for, so that once you get it in place, you're going to be able to use your glue dot to secure it so it's easier for you to hold on to it while you get the orbs in. So that should fit over it about right. So I'm going to get my glue dot. It's stuck on my fingernail. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. I feel like mine's about to get stuck too. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> And use my glue dot and just at the very end of my paper secure it right there. So I have it's the smaller hole on one side and the bigger on the other side, like a cone. Yep. I'm gonna put that over it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna open up my Orbeez. There we go. Oh no. I'm going to hold this. My sticky dot isn't sticking, but it's okay. How? Oh, oh, you have go. the worst luck with your sticky dot. I know. Okay, I'm going to very care. Ooh, that's a good idea. You. <gasps> My Orbeez! <Ruby! gasps> it's okay. All right, let's see what happens. I, I'm gonna drop some of I make a mess every time I make, oh no! Yeah, I already did, it's okay. <gasps> Woo! It's gonna feel a little weird. Oh my goodness! This is awesome. I love it. Get in there. I'm going to gather up some of my loose ones and just Hello. drop them in. How are Ooh. you doing, children? How are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay, it didn't fall yet. They're so pretty. I know. I'm going to pick them up and help you. Oh, thank you. They're so satisfying. Ooh. Oh, something fell. I really like the blue ones. I like the purple ones though. They look like beads. And they all look like beads, but like. Ooh. They kind of remind me of the fish eggs from Finding Nemo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Poor fish eggs. Okay, we almost got them. I will I'm never sure. let anything happen to you, Nemo. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Ah, they can go away. Got it. The last one. There we go. Okay. So now, 
Now the next part is that we have to blow the balloon up. We're going to put the balloon over the water bottle, but we have to blow it up first to stretch it. Otherwise, the Orbeez won't fill up the balloon very much. It'll just get like that full, and we want it to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to take off our mask so we can blow into our balloons. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm going to stretch mine a little bit first. Oh, yeah. So then when you stretch it a little bit first with your fingers, it helps it blow up easier. <laughs> it definitely doesn't have to be that big. Oh, let me replace my mask really quick. You want to blow it up a little bit bigger than you want it to be because it's gonna it's probably gonna lose some air when you put it over this. So the trick is to pinch it right here. And you can use your other fingers or have somebody help you to get it over the lid. I can do this. Oh, it's up. There you go. I think I did it. I'm going to put my leaf right there. Alright. Yay! My bottle's crunching a little, but that's okay. Okay, so then once we have this, all you got to do is pour it in there. You can kind of squeeze the bottle to help them go in. Also make sure you hold on to like the top part right here. Yeah, oh, some of them are stuck. Might fly off the glass. Squeeze it, Heather. Okay, so now we have our Orbeez in the balloon. We're going to carefully take it off and release some of the air. Should not have had Taco Bell last night. <laughs> You can leave a little bit of air in there if you want, or you can let all the air out. I kind of let all the air out of mine. I don't know if I meant to, but it happened. Oh, it's so squishy. Ooh. Okay, so now the last part. I'm gonna squish a little bit to make it more round. There we go. I'm gonna double knot on mine, maybe. No, maybe not. There okay. we are. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh. Okay, so now for the last part, if you want to decorate your balloon and give it a little face, you can do so with your Sharpie. You want to be very careful. This is a permanent marker, but that way it won't rub off so easily. Because it, it will probably rub off over time from me squishing on it, but it'll last longer with this. Okay. I'm going to do a creeper on mine. I'm going to attempt Frankenstein. I don't really know how to draw Frankenstein, but I'm gonna anyways. I know he has hair. I think I'm not gonna give him hair because uh, it's, it's a balloon and I don't feel like coloring all the hair in. But I'll give him maybe some cranky eyeballs. I'll show you guys in a second here what I'm drawing. Okay, so for my Frankenstein, I started with some little cranky eyeballs on there. Yeah, I've got like part of the eye done. Or part of the mouth. Nothing's creepier than a creeper. <laughs> Plus, you get too close to them and they explode. That's... I added some eyebrows and a little star that he has at the top. It was one time I was playing and I got, well, a creeper got too close to me and I was building my house and it was a beautiful house. And then he got close to me and he exploded and I had to rebuild my house all over again. And I was sad. happened to me too. He kind of looks like a football. <laughs> He's beautiful. I'll add another scar over here. And this makes me more frowny. If you mess up you can wipe it off but you have to do it really quickly and maybe with the help of some water because if you let it dry then it will set.
Maybe I will add in a few hairs. Oh, you look so cute. I just finished mine up. Here. I'm going to add him some little hairs. Help here. me. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Oh, he's perfect. I love he's him. He's beautiful. I'll finally get revenge on the creeper that broke my house. <laughs> I decided to add him hair for some reason, so let me finish his hair up really quick. To add him hair, I'm kind of coloring the fringe and then I'm going to go around the top of his head. <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll see. I'll test it out and let you guys know how it works. Well, I think he should have some more hair over here, perhaps. It's okay if he has some bald spots, too. Nothing wrong with that. I just can't wait to squish him. Yes. I'm letting mine dry, so I'm like, I'm squishing it back. But oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah, you do have to let it dry for a minute so that it will set and not get all smeared when you squish it. Yeah. I'm gonna color his hair in real quick. This feels so nice. Boop, 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 boop. And if he's doing the popping, they're not too hard to clean up because you can just pick up the pieces, the little Orbeez piece by piece like I did. Yeah. We made these before that had um, some like slime in it and it popped open and it ruined everything. <laughs> so I think this will be a little bit better for you guys in case there is an accident. Is don't dig your nails into it. You don't want to make it pop. Yeah, I've done that before and it was a giant mistake. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Mistake. Oh, look, I gave him hair. <laughs> looks so I silly. love him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so that's my Frankenstein. Woo! I want to squish the top of his head so bad, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until he's dry. I can also stretch out his mouth. Hey, Mr. Creeper, how are you doing? I'm great! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and you can see inside. It looks like he ate a bunch of little Orby candy. Or something. I know. He's like, he kind of reminds me of like a cactus or something. <gasps> like, you can make it a cactus. It's not like cactus season, but who cares? It's cute. It's always cactus season in like New Mexico <laughs> or Nevada or something. True. Wherever the desert is. Okay, so there's our craft for the day. I hope you guys had fun. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Beyond the Alphabet story time. Today we are reading If You Take a Mouse to School. So here we go. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. Ah, uh, he's one of these friends. One of those friends. He always wants your good stuff. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. Look at him go. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a wor word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Okay. Looks like he's having a lot of fun there. Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, see there he is. He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house and make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, so he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he is finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. See, can you spot him? He is right there. Just be careful, he might get run over. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. There he is. And do a little skateboarding. 
Oh my goodness, the poor thing's holding on for dear life. <laughs> when he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are... If he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. The end. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.